Medical professionals often get asked the question from their patients if there's a way that they can take a food type item, supplement, or whatever it is to normalize their blood pressure as well as a pharmaceutical because they don't want to deal with the side effects. Well, the answer to that is actually a resounding yes. Even more so, wait till you hear the additional benefits outside of the, uh, not having to worry about side effects. This item is actually called a meal peptide. It has been used extensively in Japan since 1997. It is not really well known per se around the rest of the world, but when you find out how effective it actually is, even without a lot of the detrimental effects of the regular standard pharmaceutical ACE inhibitors, I think it may get your attention, especially comparatively. So let us begin and let us compare a food derived item uh, to the pharmaceutically made ACE inhibitors. Let's look right at the study. All right, amyl peptide. An individual with mild to moderate hypertension actually dropped blood pressure 12 to 15 points on the systolic, seven points on average on the diastolic. All right, so now you get an idea, 12 to 15 points on the systolic from amyl peptide, a food-derived item. But how does that compare to your standard pharmaceutical ACE inhibitor? Well, you'll be surprised. According to the studies, uh, basically analyzing 92 different trials that were published in 2009 across a, across a variety of ACE inhibitors, the average pharmaceutical ACE inhibitor dropped systolic blood pressure about 8 points and diastolic 5 points. So you go, whoa, wait one second here. A food derived item dropped blood pressure far better and far greater than a standard pharmaceutical, and this has been around since 1997. And at the top of all off, it has virtually no side effects. Yes, that's exactly what we're saying. And we always look, always want to encourage you to look into the studies yourself so you can see and confirm and validate what we are saying because it is factual. Now, proceed forward. The cool part about it, even the trial participants that were taking the meal peptide, the food derived item that helped drop the blood pressure, even after they stopped taking it, the benefits still went on for two to eight weeks afterwards. And they're only taking 3.4 milligrams of this substance a day. Now you may ask, what is this? All right, first, let's look at it this way. All right, the side effects of the meal peptide. Side effects, here we look, you actually have side benefits. And these are just a few, as opposed to basically working to improve the vascular system. Side effects of ACE inhibitors, let's look at that. That's the common ones. So let's weigh it out again. A 12 to 15 point drop on systolic with virtually no side effects and side benefits. Or you can take uh, this eight point drop and get all of the weird type things going on that make you feel funny. All right, now we go into meal peptide. This is exactly what it is. And it's really, it's a food derived item, but it's specially processed from basic what was uh, normally a Mongolian beverage that's been used for a long period of time. A company called Kalpis uh, brought it over to Japan and they found out the active ingredients which gave people this such, uh, such vigor and health, so to say. Let's get right into it. We don't have much time. So the meal peptide is derived from milk, or I should say from casein, a milk protein that consists of two lactotripeptides, valine, proline, proline, VPP, and isoproline, isoleucine, proline, 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 IPP. They have been shown to help reduce blood vessel constriction, which helps blood flow more freely. These lactotripeptide uh, sequences exist naturally in KC and have been used in Japan for blood pressure since 1997. And of course, the US in 2003, as we stated before. But it's a special process that brings out these active and constituents so the body can actually digest them, utilize them effectively. All right, now how it was discovered is actually kind of cool. This is the backstory. The, base, the discoverer of uh, a meal peptide I wasn't feeling too good and it was basically in Mongolia. And let's just read into how this discovery took place. His digestion had been weakened by the long journey to Mongolia, which, which was fully restored as he discovered that his, both his body and mind were refreshed by the power of cultured milk. He was convinced that the secret of the tastiness and health of the drink lay in the milk and the lactobacilli. After returning to Japan, he devoted his time to developing a cultured milk product that is tasty and healthy. Sounds kind of ambiguous, well-intentioned, but wow, what a discovery he actually caught, uh, caught upon. Because again, when you look at a meal of peptide, the blood pressure is only part 
of its positive effect on the human health, or human health, I should say. It says, basically, he said this, I want to make a drink that, contributes, that can contribute to people's lives. Of course, that's where male peptide came from, was generally this fermented Mongolian beverage. So he devoted himself to study lactobacilli. The result was Calpis, the first lactic acid drink in Japan, which from Calpis, they derived the active ingredient, a male peptide, put it into 3.4 milligram tablets on average, and presented it to the consumer, the, the doctor, or I should even say the patient. So when you look at this nice story as far as what it does, you really have to weigh out the balance. So the balance being you could take something that is far more effective than your standard ACE inhibitors, which doesn't have any weird side effects and actually has side benefits, or you can go by the traditional philosophy of uh, Paracelsus, who always believed that the poison makes the dose, and you could take your uh, eight point drop in uh, blood pressure through your pharmaceutical ACE inhibitor and have to endure the toxic side effects. When you balance it out, a meal peptide, pharmaceutical ACE inhibitor, health benefits, side effects, is it really a choice? Again, I encourage you to go to the Calpis website. I encourage you to research a meal uh, peptides on your own and validate the information I'm saying. It's a noble, noble product that can do great good. People just have to be made aware of it. Thank you very much. Ralph Turciano signing off once again.